Hi, and welcome to another one of my videos. And in this one, what I'm gonna talk about is if you wanna be a data analyst, should you work in an agency or on a client to, for actually for a brand or a business? Okay, so I've done both. Um, I can't talk about consultancies, but I'll, I'll, talk, I'll focus on agency versus working for the client themselves. Um, so what are the main differences? So the first main difference is that if you work for a client, then you're just working on that one business in that one sector. Whereas if you work for an agency, there is the opportunity, especially for a lot in a large agency, to work across multiple clients and potentially multiple sectors. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes you may be hired to work on one particular client full time. Um, and so you find that you might as well just work for that client themselves. But at least with an agency, you have an opportunity to move across multiple clients. Whereas if you work client side, then that's it. You're sort of stuck with that client. Okay, so that's one of the advantages of working agencies um, as opposed to client side. However, if you work on the client side, one of the things that you do get an opportunity for is to work broader across the business, okay? So you get to um, uh, have a more deeper understanding of the business. So when I was working client side, I, get to, I got to work with lots of different departments and teams and got to know them because they were part of my own company, so I went around them. When you're on agency side, you usually have your client and they're typically either based in marketing or there might be product or tech. Uh, or um, the loyalty uh, team um, so you'll pretty much only know that part of that client and so you don't get a deep understanding of the business and how it operates um, so that's an advantage of working client side you get a deeper understanding um, of the business the other advantage of working agency side actually over client side is the tools. So typically when you work on the client side, the client will have a number of tools and they're the tools you use. And they may change if they go for procurement, but it'll be every two, three years they might change or um, adopt a new tool. But you won't use um, uh, multiple versions of a similar tool. So for example, you may not have Power BI and Tableau. Sometimes you do, if you work in big organizations, you'll find that they do use two sets of tools, but typically they'll, they'll select, procurement will select one and you will use one. Um, but so you wouldn't literally have like business objects, Power BI, Tableau uh, to do that, or you won't necessarily use R and SPSS uh, or Python. But when you work agency side, if you work across multiple clients, you might find that each client has a different tool for the same thing. And so therefore you might actually be on a day-to-day -day basis doing, um, uh, you know, uh, R and Python and SPSS or using business objects and Tableau. Um, so you get exposure to a, a wider set of um, a, a tools. Um, so yeah, so the, the, you, they're sort of the advantages of working agency side is that wider set of tools. The other thing about, the other one of the advantages of working client side <clears throat> is that within the organization you can move to a different um, uh, team okay so if you start off as an analyst you might go into product you might go into tech you might even go to strategy in agency side it's not so easy i mean people do um, uh, but typically analysts don't move from being from analytics to account management for example or to the tech team or to strategy team that's very that's not very common um, but not unusual I mean you could do but it's not very common whereas on, being on the client side you know when opportunities come up you, you know you, you can apply for them and move across team because sometimes being in the company they want to keep you um, and they're happy for you to move across teams um, so yeah so if you were choosing between working in an agency and a client there are pros and cons um, of working in either um, but it, and it depends on what you want to do. If you want a variety, if you want to use a combination of tools, then choose agencies. Um, if you want to <clears throat> uh, work on one particular business sector, if you want to have deep knowledge in that sector, and if you want to progress in that sector, then choose client side. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening to my video. Uh, and uh, please do comment below. Also, if you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. Um, please like my video and of course, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.